June 6th marks the 80th anniversary of the Allied invasion of mainland France in 1944. This historic moment in history helped usher in an end to World War II, the Holocaust, and the Nazi occupation of Europe. The Normandy invasion is often cited as one of the largest and most important battles in U.S. Army history. But did you know the Maryland National Guard played a critical role in the success of the Allied invasion? The Maryland National Guard has evolved greatly since World War II. Our force now contains a wide range of military assets from cyber units to digital liaison detachments. While the names may have changed since June of 1944, many units in the Maryland National Guard carry on their lineage and honors the Battle Streamers, Combat Awards, and the legacy of the Marylanders who charged across the beaches and hedgerows of Normandy. While they may display cross pistols on their colors today, Salisbury's 115th Military Police Battalion and Sykesville's 200th MP Company both served during World War II as infantry companies in the 3rd Battalion, 115th Infantry. On June 6, the 115th Infantry landed on Omaha Beach and fought its way to St. Laurent-sur-Mer, helping to secure a foothold in France and a path for the Allied invasion. In doing so, the unit earned the coveted Presidential Unit Citation, still worn on the uniforms of soldiers in these units today. Dundalk's 1st Battalion, 175th Infantry, is the only infantry unit in Maryland's force structure today and has served as an infantry unit since its founding in 1774. On June 7, 1944, the men of the Dandy 5th landed in France and pushed beyond the foothold, helping to break out of the beachhead and drive to St. Lowe. In these important actions, the unit earned the Croix de Guerre, or War Cross from the French government, inscribed Beaches of Normandy, and eventually their own presidential unit citation. These and other awards from Normandy still hang from the battalion colors. While the infantry fought through the hedgerows of Normandy countryside, they received critical long-range support from the guns of Maryland's 110th Field Artillery Battalion. The 110th Field Artillery fought alongside the 115th and 175th to liberate France, earning the unit the meritorious unit citation for its actions during the war. Today, the unit provides a new method of support for Maryland Guardsmen and fights battles in a digital domain as the Annapolis-based 110th Information Operations Battalion. Over a dozen units in the Maryland National Guard can find the black, green, and brown streamer embroidered Normandy hanging from their unit colors, and a handful of units still wear the famous blue and gray patch of the 29th Division. That streamer hangs alongside valor awards earned by National Guardsmen on the sand-covered beaches in June of 1944. Today, we still train and serve in the same armories, towns, and communities that helped to achieve that historic victory in World War II. And just like in 1944, Maryland National Guard soldiers stand ready today to answer the nation's call and carry on our proud legacy.